I'm DJ Ron. I'm back with another Geeky Tree update. In the past, I've shown you how I'm bringing virtual DJ into Grand VJ and also using a secondary monitor to show my logo, like the front of my mo like by my laptop. Down here, right here, you see what you see on the front of my laptop, the DJ Ron logo playing. Here is the complete output of the screen. Over here on the computer, you can see the virtual DJ going into the Grand VJ via the Siphon interface. What I'm going to show you today now is how I'm going to use an iPad to control the visuals in, in Grand VJ. Here is the iPad, and you'll see there's a map that I made up. It's made through Touch OSC for Archaos and Touch OSC Editor, which I just found online. Touch OSC is like a $5 program that you get from your Google Play Store or your Android or your Apple Store. One thing, though, works a lot better for iPads because it can actually interface with the editor and sync it. Sync doesn't work for Android devices, which is a bummer. Because if you're going to spend all the time making your own interface, you actually want to be able to use it with the program. Now, to get this to talk with Virtual DJ and Grand VJ, what I'm using is PD, which is a graphical programming environment for live interactive computer music, etc., etc. Basically, you set it up and you put the IP address of your interface device on this connect screen and then this just sends a signal to it and then in Grand VJ under preferences you go to the OSC screen on screen controller and you set the port there's a full readme des description document which is very easy to follow heck if I can do it anyone can do it and basically what I've done so far is I've mapped each visual to a button and then the intensity visual. So let's say this first one in the upper left hand corner. I touch it to trigger it and then I bring up the intensity. So if you look at the screen, I trigger it and I bring up the intensity. And it's basically an extra visual on top of what's already playing. And here's another one. And here's another one. It just gives more of an element and more of a dimension to what's being played on the video screen. Of course, you can have lots of fun with messing with the colors. Here I'm taking out all the reds, all the greens, all the blues. And if you look at the iPad, all it is is a lever I set up for the red control, the green control, and the blue control. I also set up the little levers, little knobs or faders for the X and Y size and position. Here's X position, here's X, X um, I guess it'd be X axis, and that's location. Then for Y, which would be up and down, or flipping it on the Y axis. And then of course Z, which would make it a zoom in or a zoom all the way out, which would also be good for sizing if you have different kinds of screens. And then on the Z axis, you'd really mess with people's heads and play the video completely upside down all night and just think they're drunk, even more than they are. Um, another thing which I've used this for is I've got a bank here, which is for positionary stuff. So if you look at the screen, I can have three portions. This is really great if you're using a screen splitter like a matrox and you have three different screens and you want to be able to show it popping across the three screens. It's also really good for horizontals. See, there it is, three horizontal. Or if you really want to get geeky, you can do small squares. Of course, Grand VJ limits you to nine different things playing at once. A fun thing to do is to do both effects at the same time as you do other stuff. So here is the kaleidoscope effect, and I'm going to put the box in the middle. It's a nice combination of the video playing on the outside and the full video playing in the middle. Or this scoping effect with the full video in the center. Now of course I've not nearly messed with this as much as I should so there's a lot more you can do with this and I just haven't gone to all the little different tweaks and tricks. Um, with Grand VJ over here you can have several banks of graphics so you can have all your visuals set up, all your different effects, like I've shown you. Um, and it's however you want to do it, you can basically do it. 
And so that's just a basic way of setting up the iPad to control Grand VJ on top of Virtual DJ. And plus, it's cool to walk around the club and just mess with this. Because you're like, oh, look at the screen. I'm messing with the reds. Um, and it's a fun little toy to add on. Now, would I buy an iPad just as a controller? I'm not so sure because I saw something new when I was in Miami, the new Mark Orbit that I want to play with. But if you already have an iPad and you want to use it as an on-screen controller, go for it. It also works with iPhones as well. Um, this screen right here, those are two different iPhone layouts. So, of course, it's going to be smaller and less things to control, but it definitely works for you. It's also a trial and error thing to get one that's right for you because the first time I designed it, I put together this behemoth and realized that's way too many things to control on one screen and you forget what everything is. And so this is the one I've pretty much settled on, where it's 8 by 3 And so that's an introduction. Thank you for watching my little video. Of course, the DJRon.com is my homepage, and NobleDance.com is where I write about dance music every day. Thank you for watching, and watch, more, more, watch out for more Geeky Tree videos.